Hey Scorpio, it's Meg with Padme's and I am doing your, your love reading for the next few days for August. And we're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anybody else. And I'm getting lots of cards that are already jumping out. So we got a passionate new beginning here. But this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at your situation for the next couple of days. We're going to look at your energy, the person who you're thinking about, their energy, what binds the two of you together, what you both have in common, that energy, and then possible outcome. We're gonna look at energy that you don't see coming and get some Oracle messages and advice from the angels for you. So let's jump in, Scorpio. Let's see. This is your situation. And here is your energy, the person who you are thinking about, their energy, the energy that the two of you have in common, and a possible outcome. So let's take a look at your situation. Okay, Scorpio, you've got the Emperor reversed, you've got the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and you've got the Knight of Swords. What this looks like is, okay, so you've got some masculine energy, some energy where the person, whoever this is, whether it's you, whether it's your person, they're the more forward acting energy. This person is wanting to control a situation or they're feeling out of control because they don't know what's going on with the situation. It looks like there's some kind of divine timing that has not worked out or there's been a long period of time where there hasn't been any action or any movement. And then all of a sudden you've got somebody coming, uh, storming the castle with the truth. So, there's some kind of person who's trying to gain more control just over the situation by seeking truth. Asking, you know, I'm actually hearing attempting for the goals. So it's more like attempting to get the truth for forward motion. This also looks like somebody is coming with the truth, talking about the past. Let's get some clarification here too, Scorpio. I want to clarify this, um, this emperor reversed. Who is this emperor reversed? Because this is somebody who wants to take charge, wants to be in control, needs to have their way, and you know feels really jittery and upset when that doesn't happen. Yeah, and here we have the snake card. Oftentimes this has to do with another person in the relationship or in the situation, like a third party, but this also has to do with um, feeling taken advantage of, feeling left behind, feeling like left in the dark. So it could definitely feel like I'm out of control because I don't have the information that I need. I don't know what's going on. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's look at this Wheel of Fortune reverse. I also feel like someone has had kind of like some turns of events that maybe were not, uh, that didn't feel awesome. And here is a letter, here's some kind of a message. And this may be somebody receiving a message that they're not wanting to hear exactly, or receiving a message. Um, I'm also feeling like somebody is sending a message out about this, these turns of events. These, um, oh, this happened and this happened and this happened and I just can't believe it and I miss you and I'm sad. Like, it feels like that type of message. And let's take a look at this Knight of Swords because he's coming in with the message and he's coming in with the truth. And here's the cross. This is like, this is my cross to bear. This is what I have to do. It's almost like someone feels really stuck and they're trying to get some sympathy or some support about it. Why I feel stuck, why all this stuff has happened, what I'm going through. Okay, let's take a look at your energy, Scorpio. And here we have the Empress. So we've got the Emperor and now we have the Empress. So Scorpio, Empress energy. This is abundance energy. This is abundance energy coming to you. This is holding space without even feeling like you have to hold space, just being you, being aligned in your 
connection with the universe, letting things flow to you. And here's the King of Pentacles. Both of those things really line up, really go together. The King of Pentacles has all of his ducks in a row. He's grounded. He's solid, safe, and secure. He is the married king. And this is the married empress. The emperor is usually married, but this one is reversed. So if he is married, he's not acting like he is. And this would indicate that there was a third party. So we've got this empress, the married empress, someone who knows their worth. We've got this king of pentacles, a solid, safe, secure, married king who has all of his resources in order. And then we have the justice card. So this looks like whatever happened, there's justice, there's karmic justice that is happening. There's karmic justice that's happening. It looks like this empress is very possibly with her married king and uh, karmic justice happened. So this, uh, this possible uh, injustice or upset with this wheel of fortune reversed could be the person that you're thinking of. Because if that is your energy, you are looking good, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your person's energy. Unless this is what you're thinking about. But let's see. So your person's energy, they are holding the energy of conviction. Hold, like sticking to their guns, holding strong they are talking about a king, but a king who has who has been cold, cold with their words, cold with their demeanor, cold with their actions, someone who's been strategic. And then your person is also talking about somebody giving to two. So they're holding strong with conviction about perhaps not communicating. And it has to do with not being given enough resources or resources were like, this would be like being breadcrumbed. Somebody feels like they've been breadcrumbed. Like they've been given a little time, energy, effort, love and attention, but um, clearly they know that there were more than one person involved in the situation, something like that. Okay, so. Scorpio, let's take a look. Actually, you know what? Before we even take a look at the energy that binds the two of you together, I want to clarify all of this. So let's clarify this empress. This empress has the whole story. She's got the whole book. She knows exactly what has happened. She has all the information. She also has an unwritten story. She has a lot more to do in this life, in this world. Wow, yeah. And this King of Pentacles somehow ends up really lucky. And this is almost even like wealthy and lucky and things fall into place and they're in the right place at the right time. It's kind of very much the opposite of this wheel of fortune reversed. So who's ever experiencing that situation or maybe this whole situation just took place. That was a situation, things weren't in place. Things weren't aligned. And now it seems like they are aligning. Let's take a look at this justice card. The justice card has to do with the house. Somebody could be moving or somebody could be just feeling like I, I'm even hearing I've got temperance, which this isn't a temperance card, but that's also Sagittarius card. Um, but it's also patience. It's also moderation and balance. So um, that's your energy, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your person who you're thinking about. The seven of wands, holding your ground, standing up for yourself, having conviction. And it's having conviction about a new love or a new interaction, a new, uh, a new beginning. They're having conviction about a new beginning. Let's see what they're saying about this king of swords energy. What are you saying about the King of Swords energy? They're talking about the tower. And the tower actually looks more in Lenormand. This is more about rising up, moving up, moving on, healing, but also being very grounded, solid, and secure, um, protected, you know? And this also has to do with um, kind of like institutions, like work-related things 
all of a sudden, all the cards just totally flipped around. Okay, interesting. And I'm going to use these. The, the cards that flipped around, we've got the woman, the baby, and the heart, the sacred heart. So somebody is saying that there, this has a lot to do with, it could be literally children and the things that make the heart sing, but this can also be new beginnings in the heart, love with this feminine energy. There's new, there's new love and that's what they're focusing on. Okay, let's take a look at the six of pentacles that they're talking about, Scorpio, this bread crumbing or getting to two or spreading yourself too thin or not being a priority kind of thing, right? And they were seeing this it kind of long-term. They were seeing this for a long time or they're experiencing that for a long time. Now let's take a look at the energy that binds the two of you together. Interesting. So there's some kind of, here's another, here's another knight. So here's this knight of swords coming in who's storming the castle with the truth. This knight of wands storms the castle with passion. So that night also is kind of like in and out energy. <laughs> okay. I'm hearing this like Rick song, which is really funny. Um, But what it has to do with is um, me and you, Ty, we're going to make some cash. Robin Oak books and making the dash. It's like there's something sneaky around here. It's like jumping in, showing up, being kind of like, oh, man, I don't want to say swindly, but I just want to say it like maybe schmarmy. I don't know exactly how I'm trying to say that. There's some kind of energy that's coming in. I feel like both of you are, don't know how to act. There's been a lot of stuff that's happened and both of you don't know how to act, but there's this, uh, this weird shmarmy energy that comes in. Let's say like you're trying to act like everything's great and everything's okay, but it's not. But both of you are thinking or feeling like it also feels like an impromptu like run in, like you run into each other. But here we have the bear when we're talking about this energy and this kind of like meeting up energy. And this is all about control and how somebody wants it to go. It's, it's very much this emperor reversed energy. It's like somebody wants their way or somebody wants to uh, handle the situation, wants to make the rules for the situation or wants to look like they are powerful or they wanna like control the situation somehow. And it feels a little manipulative or smarmy. It's like somebody's being emotionally manipulative. Yeah, and this person is also really involved with looking like, they are respected. They wanna continue looking respected. They want to be respected. Okay, let's take a look at the possible outcome in the next few days, Scorpio. We've got the seven of cups. This is about reevaluation, looking at all of your options. We've got the eight of swords, which is kind of like self-imposed limitation. You are stuck in your own consciousness, stuck in an old, oh, I'm hearing shadow beliefs. You're stuck in shadow beliefs, okay. And then we've got this King of Cups reversed. This is emotional manipulation. Emotional manipulation, disappointment, upset, trying to get your way, but don't know how to express your emotions in order to actually come together. Jeez, what is going on? All right, let's clarify the seven of cups. So there's like, there's a whole bunch of options for commitment. <laughs> Possibly somebody could be committed to all of these different people or all these different people feel like there's some kind of commitment with this person. Spinning plates, spinning plates. Let's take a look at this one. 
And yeah, here is the mountain to overcome, the challenge to overcome the shadow beliefs or the, um, the false beliefs to release. Somebody is stuck, like this is the way it has to be. This is how it has to be. And maybe that's why they're trying to like control the situation. Okay, then we have the stork. We have the stork clarifying this this king of cups reverse the stork is like in the long run we're going to heal in the long run we're going to move on we're going to heal we're going to start something fresh we're going to start something new it's going to be okay that kind of thing but that doesn't necessarily mean together what i want to do is take a look at some energy that maybe you don't see coming this month or in the next few days really energy that you don't see coming in the next few days okay we've got the family room so this is uh like like a safe room like an office like family room like a safe place for someone it's kind of like a sanctuary and we've got imprisonment Okay, and coffin. So the next few days, it's talking about this sanctuary, but kind of like being confined to this place or and dealing with this end, dealing with this ending. It even feels like there's this processing going on about feeling imprisoned, there used to be a sanctuary and now there's an ending there's imprisonment i can't my hands are tied i can't do anything so it kind of feels like the next couple of days it's going to be this processing of an old situation ending let's take a look at the messages of love and see what your angels and guides are wanting to say integrity does the situation align with your values and your morals i feel like it's you asking someone or someone asking you to do something that to commit in a certain way that just doesn't feel awesome because it feels like there's a lot of reevaluation going on here, a lot of plates spinning, a lot of people involved, a lot of options involved, and different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. I feel like somebody thinks that's going to be great. I also feel like there's, okay, so with this family room, imprisonment and coffin, like the sanctuary, my hands are tied, the end of something kind of thing. I feel like somebody's going to ask you to keep secrets or, yeah, just to keep secrets or keep something on the low low. And second chance, this relationship deserves a second chance. I feel like somebody is going to be asking for a second chance. It could be you, it could be this person. But we've got two knights that are on a quest or on a mission to seek something out. And so I feel like um, there's going to be some kind of, who I'm hearing quarrel. <clears throat> there doesn't have to be a quarrel for everyone, but it does seem like there's some, there's some tension, there's some tension and there's some control stuff. And let's take a look at this moonology. What does the moonology want to say to you, Scorpio? And don't let pride get in your way. It's interesting, it's full moon in Leo, but tomorrow is a new moon in Leo. It's also Lion's Gate portal, which is huge energy to start new, to start new relationships, to start new lives. All right, I'm gonna check out what your romance oracle wants to say. What do your angels wanna tell you about this relationship and the situation? Let your friends help you. Love yourself first. Your friends, I feel like those are your guides and your angels too, because I feel like some people are not talking about this to anyone. They're not talking about their process to anyone. Let your friends help you. Let your angels and guides help you. Love yourself first. And Again, we've got children. So this can be inner children, but we got this child over here too. But this is also starting fresh, starting new. 
uh, being blessed and miracles happening. Ooh, I'm getting yeses on that too. Being blessed, miracles happening. Also though, I wanna say if somebody is uh, rushing in with some romantic endeavors, be careful because children are coming up a couple of times here. All right, so Scorpio, ask a yes or no question. Have that yes or no question in your mind. We'll ask the angel oracle what error. What's going on here? I got a little answers from the angels. Improving health. I actually feel like this is really important for someone. It's not necessarily saying your health is improving. I feel like it's saying pay attention to your health, what you're eating, what you're doing, how active you're being, and also mental health, what you're thinking about, what you're obsessing about, what you're bringing attention to, what you're building momentum for energetically in your life and let go i also feel like some manifesting stuff that you're wanting and you're willing and you're uh really focused on it's time to like release it into the universe so the universe can do its job and reflect it back to you and then we have it's up to you so what that makes me feel like too is that there's some kind of decision that needs to be made and it's very possible that you haven't made it yet it's very possible that you may say yes or you may say no and you're just not sure exactly what it is that you're going to say what i want to ask is what what is it that you need in order to make the decision what kind of information do you need in order to make this yes or no decision yeah, and it's talking about, this is a double card, it's reversed, it's talking about releasing patterns and themes that don't serve you. That also means dealing with your own essence, dealing with your own reality, dropping the mask for yourself and saying, this is what this situation really is, this is what I'm really doing here. And that's what's gonna help you make the decision, yes or no. Whew. All right, Scorpio, thanks for being with me today. Let me know how this resonated for you and how this works out and like and subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Thanks for being here.